Day four of the Rakuten Japan Open would see the completion of the second round matches. And with clear skies overhead, the Tokyo Tennis was set to entertain once more. 2016 Tokyo runner-up David Goffin faced off against Australian qualifier Matthew Ebden. And in a surprisingly one-sided first set, it was Ebden who was running away with things. Well played, Matthew Ebden. Goffin's woes may have owed to a possible knee injury he was suffering from. But after a first set drubbing, Goffin sprang to life and illustrated just why he secured his third career ATP title in Shenzhen last week. And that could be decisive. Goffin is back in business here. He's put the disappointments of the first set behind him much, much better. Having leveled things up, the Belgian surged ahead in the decider. But with Goffin serving for the match, Ebden dug deep and summoned some great shots to stay alive. The match would be settled in the breaker, where Goffin applied just enough topspin to gain the key mini break. That deserves going way out when he, when he hit it. Maybe there was just enough spin on the ball to bring this one down. And there was Plum on the line. The number four seed given a real scare, but doing just enough to advance to the quarterfinals. There it is. Finishes it off with a forehand winner. The unseeded pair of Richard Gasquet and Yen Sun Lu squared off on the Coliseum. Lu, though, clearly hadn't done his homework. Approach the Gasquet backhand at your own peril. Thank goodness for people like Richard Gasquet and that backhand. <laughs> Stay away from the Gasquet backhand. Gasquet racing through the opener six love, but Lou was transformed as he replaced his error-laden first set showing with some more pleasing shots to lead in the second set. A little bit of luck from Lou. Maybe deserves a little bit of luck. But with Lou serving for the set, Gasquet returned to his faithful weapon to get back on terms. Oh, have that, says Gasquet. And in the breaker, it was the Frenchman who controlled the points when it mattered most. Oh. Gasquet holding his nerve to progress in two sets. Oh, disappointment for Lou, but delight for Richard Gasquet. Back in the Japan Open quarterfinals for the first time since 2008. Steve Johnson was coming off a career best victory over world number seven Dominic Team, and he took on the unseeded Alexander Dolgopolov. An early break of serve saw Johnson with a spring in his step, and he kept up the pressure to close in on a double break. Excellent play from Johnson. The first set wrapped up in just 26 minutes for the American, and the theme of the match continued in the second set, with a slightly subpar Dolgopolov once again second best. Oh, it's lovely. Really lovely touch. Johnson getting the job done in two to reach his second Tokyo quarterfinal. There it is. First opportunity converted by Johnson in exactly an hour of play. Fist pumps all round for the American. There was bad news for Milos Raonic fans after he was forced to withdraw from his second round match with a calf injury. Japan's Yuichi Sagita, the beneficiary, as the Canadian's injury woes continued. A quick look at the quarter final lineup, and Japan's remaining hope takes on Adrio Manorino, whilst the number eight seed Diego Schwartzman meets Steve Johnson in the bottom half of the draw.